Hey, and uh, welcome to Alpha One. In uh, this video, we'll talk about the uh, NBA strategy and a little about uh, risk management. Because I have seen that uh, most of my viewers have interest about uh, the NBA strategy, so that's why we're going to talk about that. First of all, let's see, let's remove these lines. Okay, so. Uh, normally with the NBA strategy, we start to look for a sell opportunity when we reach this level here. This is around uh, 77, so it's, it's a level where we would actually go short, right? And then you can see here, will not be a good idea to short here. By the way, see my other uh, video I made on my uh, cell phone. Uh, I can put uh, a link below this video how to get a better entry with uh, the NBA strategy even using your cell phone but in this video we will talk about just following the NBA so what we need to think about is risk management because I have got many questions about where to put stop loss where to put take profit and I do not use stop loss on the NBA strategy and the reason behind that if you do that you will lose more money than you will win because the NBA strategy in itself with a stop loss you will hit it so many times that it's not even funny see here for example uh, I don't need to go back or nothing just look this pair right up in one hour by the way I do not trade NBA lower than one hour the reason behind that is that you get so many false entries and it's quite scary yes you can win but your losers can break all your winnings so keep it at minimum one hour so let's get to it see here let's say we enter here now I would basically just hold it and to hold it in the distance you see up here you can't go in too hard you can't it's better to take many smaller profit with a smaller lot size than you go in like a super hard lot size like uh, you can see Jeremy Cash too often he go very hard in but then we also need to remember he have a much bigger trading account than we have. Yes, he did build up smaller accounts, but to be quite friendly, was a little luck also. Because you can see here now, if he had entered here with a high, yes, he would need to take a close his position with a big loss. But I basically are trading with zero zero losses all my trades are winners and the reason behind that is that I'm basically holding it so in this case for example this is a very bad case where you can see it go very much in minus we, dread, we will get some drawback on this one but in this case here I would maybe entered not maybe I would have entered a trade here because here we would see start to get a little red bar good sign right but you see what happened after so I would have entered here holding 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 and I might have entered here you see now we up in 84 that's super high still you see will go up I still it's not nervous because it's and I might have entered one more time one of this then my average to go in zero would be let's say would be around here so from here we would have turned profit so basically in that case would be one and a half day holding this of course most of the time when you do uh, NBA you get your profit after a few hours that's that's just the reality of it and even if you just enter one time here after this is around two days 
you would turn profit and you could close it down here, right? Like for example now, you see this yellow line you see here now, that basically means I, I did not enter the trade here. And for all I know, we might go more down. But that don't worry me at all because I give myself room so I can at least enter the trade two more times with the same lot size. I don't, uh, I don't double lock on my lot size because that's too scary. I just go in with the same lot size. So in this case, when you enter like two times like here, my average will be around here. Like I said, then already here, I'm in zero, you know? So give yourself some room for that instead of like, if you go back here now, let's see. Uh, normally it's good to take in a higher uh, time frame to find your exit and uh, where to put stop loss if I was going to set a stop loss. So let's take this one now. Let's uh, first see, we are now 19 of October, 1900, okay. Let's put now for four hours. And we go to 19 of October. Yeah, we'll be around here, we did enter. Then you can see a stop loss. To be quite frankly, we would set around here because we can see it's a quite strong, actually a little above here, as you can see this one. Here would be a good one. And we would go out, even if I put above this one. But the thing is, if you put too high stop loss, let's say you have put up here, you take profit will not need to be done here because you need to keep at least one to one. So that's why it's not a good idea. And then if you put in these both positions here, you would lose. You would lose so many times, so many more times than you would win. And uh, it's not worth it. You, if you take 1.5 to 1 uh, risk to reward, yes, you might maybe make a small profit. But rather do like I do, make some room for, so you have a possibility to enter more times. Because then it's more fun, you can, and you can sleep good at night because it's, um, Everyone need to find out how much they're willing to do in each trade, which lot sites you feel you can hold. And a good way to do that, just enter. Let's go back to uh, one hour here now. And we enter here. What you do, just take, go back in time. Like you can even do here now, right? Enter a trade and take the distance that equals more like this. Take a 0 0.01 lot. See how much. Drag, drag it up like it can be any way you drag it, in profit or minus. You drag it, you will then get a line, a red line. Hold your mouse over it. How much would that cost you? Then you can calculate, okay, with that distance, let's say you take here now. And the same distance, like you can say from here to up there, would be like uh, from here to around here. Enter your position, drag up, that could be your take profit, right? Drag it up, hold your mouse over it. How much would that cost you if you did go that much in minus? Then you can, and then you from the amount you have in your account, then you know how much drawback you can afford in a worst case scenario like you see here and give you a little more wiggle room also don't go in too hard never go in so hard that you sleep bad at night and also make the possibility that you can enter the trade maybe up to two times and then put that calculation into also so because then you can win on every trade. You never need to lose. Never ever need to lose. Yes, people say that they are scammers if they say they have more than 80% win rate. And yes, many have 80% win rate, but they have this risk to reward very wrong. Like I have uh, talked about that 
in uh, my last video, I can put a link below the description also, it's about a signal service. It's actually a good signal service, so check that link uh, below the video. If you're lazy and you want to follow signals, it actually seems to be a good one. I'm still doing a review on it. There will come uh, more videos about that review of that signal service. But by the way, below this video you can see the video I made uh, yesterday, plus a link to the signal service also. But uh, yes, make room for that, So because then you will always win every single trade. You never need to lose one trade in your life, basically. So make some room for it. Uh, let's see if we can find something that looks uh, even worse than this. Like here you can see, was a perfect trade. So normally you can see with the NBA here, we will have perfect entry and we will take. Ah, yeah about take profit. In that way, there are no uh, way to say it, because uh, just follow it. And a way to do that is, let's say, here now could be a good, actually, let's say here could be a good take profit, because here you can see it's more like a resistant line, right? See here with it, touch, touch here, there, there, here, there, and there. Then just follow. Instead of close your trade here, then we don't use stop loss, but then suddenly we did enter the trade here, right? Because you see here we did go out. So we would actually enter in the top on this one. Then move your stop loss, for example. Let's say we are down to this line here. Move your stop loss in the profit area, like above, for example, here you can see, because the reason I use uh, the Dodger channels, they show you as the certain levels that are important. So then I will put put uh, my stop loss here, and stop loss in this case would mean still profit. So then put my stop loss here, I follow down, yes we come down here, then I will put my stop loss to maybe this line we see here, right? And we would hit here and our, we would take profit here. If we did not hit, we could have maybe fold, followed down all the way. But, like I said, it's smart to just keep it safe. So that's a way you can uh, put some uh, take profit levels. Add Dogecoin channels because these lines basically will show you the important levels. So that's a way you can find a take profit. But just follow it, because uh, many times it's good to just move your uh, stop loss and see if you can get a better, uh, a higher uh, trade than you would have just put your take profit here, for example. In this case, you basically would end up the same position, but that was just unlock because you get these spikes up, you see. So that yeah, uh, let me see if I can find one that is uh, incredible bad here now. Uh, let's see. Maybe we need to take another pair. Let's take uh, Euro. Mm -hmm. We would enter here. Would not be so heavy. We'll take very fast, take profit. Maybe entered here. Would not be bad either. So see, most of the times you actually will do good, that's the thing. We would enter on this one. Not any huge profit, but hmm, still profit. Hmm. I actually don't manage to find something that would be scary. Here we would... Uh, yeah, maybe we would enter it on this bar. Okay, so then we would uh, end now. That would be too early, actually. We would have entered on this one, so it would still be good. So here is a good example. Yes, we would enter along on this one, right? 
and you see we are just going down and down and down right but in this case it's not that much so we would enter it here with a long we would uh, then maybe have entered one more time down here then our average would be around here and we would have taken profit up, up around here so in this way also again I can't stress enough NBA strategy is actually very powerful but only if you do it the correct way so calculate how much you can afford uh, do like I did now go through some pairs find a worst case scenario a worst case scenario I can stress that enough where you see that you would have entered the trade and you see it would be a bad trade then you calculate the distance and you see what you can afford in a worst case scenario and make so you have, are able to go in two times because sometimes uh, you can enter with the NBA and you for example go past um, resistance point and when you pass that you will maybe just go down to where you did enter your trade maybe even a little above where you did enter that's why you need to make space so you have a possibility because always when you pass a resistance that will be a new support and the market like to test that support after and then maybe you never go down to the place you did enter your first trade that's why you need to make room so you have a possibility to go in one or two times more just so you always can make your profit and try to make so you always get profit at least in two days and as I have seen and what I have seen from experience also I am always taking profit within two days always if you keep to these rules you always do that and you like I said you never need to lose one trade of the rest of your life that's how powerful NBA is so I will leave it with that uh, remember to like and subscribe to my channel and make comments because all these type of things make my channel grow and I'll make more videos like this I'll make more videos doing live trades where you can follow my trades and how I do it and I will explain after why I did what I did and how we got out of the trade and how much profit we made. So if you would like to see content like that, remember to subscribe to my channel and put alerts so you can so every time I make a video you will get a notification about it. So um, have a perfect day and uh, Keep on trading NBA because you will not regret it.